Hello and welcome to Angela's VCB's Garden and Homestead. Guys, what you're looking at are my sweet potatoes. Um, you know, sweet potatoes grow from sweet potato slips. Although I've known some people to just take small sweet potatoes and bury them in the ground and they grow also. Um, but my attempt is to grow sweet potatoes from using slips. And what I simply did was I just picked any old container um, that I had around the house and put some soil in the bottom of the container. And I just sat a couple of sweet potatoes on top of the soil. And as you can see, the, the sweet potato is not covered completely. And uh, some of the sweet potatoes had little eyes on it, like this one right here. And so I made sure to turn these upward. And I kept the soil very moist. And as you can see, look at the growth of my sweet potato slips. And so now that they have a little bit of length on them, uh, I'm going to just simply break it off from the uh, sweet potato, just like that. And I'm going to just put it in a cup of water and it's going to develop roots. And once it develops roots, um, I will either place it into a little pot of soil or just keep them in water until I'm ready to plant in my raised bed, which is how I'm going to try to grow sweet potatoes this year. Let me see if I can find another one that's kind of long because if they're too short, I'll just let them just stay on the plant until it can get a little longer. Oh, I don't think I broke this one off correctly. Let me see. Now I accidentally broke this one. This one already has a root on it, so it should be okay. I think I'm gonna attempt at taking this one off also. Over here on this side, let's see. I've got more coming as you can see. Let's see if I can get this piece off. Okay. This looks like two, but anyway, I'll just stick it in the water. take this one as well and so I'm going to leave just these on here to continue to produce more slips I'm just going to push the soil back close around the plant and I'm going to water it and hopefully I'll get some more slips within about another week or so and then I'll continue to place them in water to develop roots. But also guys, what I wanna share with you is that I have all of these white potatoes. Some are the red norlands, like this is a red norland. And would you look at that guys, it is ready to be planted. These are some of the potatoes that I grew last year. Look at there, and I'm just gonna simply plant these whole and um, when I go back um, and looked at some of my previous videos uh, it looked like I planted my potatoes in early March even though I'm in growing zone 7a and our last frost date is around April 15th and uh, if I recall I think I might have had to cover my potatoes when we did receive another frost so I'm not certain if I'm going to plant them that early this year but by looking at these guys they are ready to go out into the garden to be planted to start producing some more potatoes for me.
but that's it guys just wanted to share with you how my sweet potato slips have grown and now I'm in the process of placing them in water and look at these guys here ready for the garden for spring of 2023 thank you so much for joining me god bless bye-bye